What's going on guys? It's Trey Mathis here from wifientrepreneur.com. So glad to see you guys land here on my page today. <laughs> it's another beautiful day here in Martha's Vineyard, Massachusetts. I'm on the floor here getting ready for a yoga session with the wife. <laughs> but before we got started with our yoga session, I wanted to see if you guys or catch up with you guys really quickly, see if you guys were familiar with the power of intention. That's something that's really changed my life. So let's go ahead and get started. This is the Wi-Fi Journal. Hey guys, if this is your first time checking us out, if this is on Facebook, YouTube, or Instagram, make sure you subscribe to our pages. We're here to help you turn your passion into profit help you learn how to create an online brand and make money online. We talk a lot about a lot of different things from personal development to again, how to start a business and investing. In this conversation though, I want to talk a little bit about the power of intention. I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with it. Power of Intention is actually a book. Let me start there. By the, the book is written by a gentleman by the name of Mr. Wayne Dyer. Mr. Wayne Dyer is a philosopher of sort, and uh, he's pretty far out there. If you guys uh, are not ready, he has some like mind-blowing type thoughts as, as far as about the life, about universe, etc. And in this book, Power of Intentions, he mentions yoga. That's why I bring it up. Uh, he mentions yoga as a way of basically staying in one place and doing you know, basically a full body workout, but all in one place on this yoga mat. And when I heard that in that book, I was like, man, you know, I, being in the military, I used to run a lot. And I was like, man, I, I, if I can figure out how to get an entire workout just from one place, I'm gonna give that a try. And I did for that reason, which is pretty crazy, but I loved it. Yoga really, really helped me a lot. Uh, it helped me with my flexibility. Uh, I can tell my joints and such uh, are more tuned up, lubricated. The joints are very lubricated, if you will. And that, that's great. But uh, what the power and intention talked about outside of just yoga, which I'm about to do, is about meditation, taking time to breathe, be in oneness with yourself, understanding where you are in the universe. Again, he's on some, like his, his information is like this, guys. But, uh, but it also talked about what the power of intentions can do for your life overall. And one of the major takeaways I got from uh, power of attention was not only, you know, doing yoga as far as an exercise, uh, then moving on to receiving the benefit of what meditation was able to provide me, being still, being patient with myself, and listening to myself. But the power of intention also helped me understand true goal setting. You know, a lot of us talk about setting goals in life. Uh, we have these plans. You can come on in. We have these plans. The wife's here, it's almost time for yoga. We have these plans as far as what we intend to, what we want to do as far as goals in our life. We set these goals, etc. And when we set these goals, uh, it's a number of ways you can look at goals. You know, you can look at them as achievable milestones in your life, or you can see them as what you know your life will be, if that makes sense. If you know that you're gonna have a brand that touches millions around the world, and you um, really accept and receive that, then what he talks about in the power of attention is, is once you're intent upon being, you naturally become. So uh, I know that's kind of deep, <laughs> but think of it a little bit different. If you think about an evite that you had to a party and someone sent you the evite and you say it's three options, yes, maybe, and no. Now, if you click no, you have no intentions of going and you more than likely won't be at that party. No one should expect you there, forget about it. That goal is not, not you're not gonna go there. If you say maybe, then 
you may arrive, but you may get distracted by something else, and that something else could be something better or either for your benefit or something for your detriment. But if you say yes, meaning you intend on being there, the chances are you're going to arrive. You don't have to think about it anymore. You don't have to, you know, be reconvinced. You've already fully given your intentions of arriving to that destination. And that's more of a generic version of the same bigger story. So um, don't be doubtful. Don't select maybe in your dreams, select yes. Uh, move into it with full intention that you are what you say you are and you're gonna do what you say you're gonna do and you're already there. I'm gonna leave some information about how you can grab the power of intent, the book yourself, check it out, see how you interpret it. Leave it in the comments below if you read it. Again, Mr. Wayne Dyer, I mean, he'll take you everywhere, but that's what it's about, grabbing these unique perspectives about life and growing from it and creating your story from it. So it's yoga time. My wife's ready for some yoga. <laughs> All right, guys, until we talk again, take care and be blessed. Peace.